Hello and welcome to Wisdom Bites. Hope you're well. Thank you once again for joining us. Very much appreciated. And in today's video, we've got a packed program. We're going to start off with some affirmations, some positive thoughts, as well as do the microanalysis of Bitcoin and one very large action which is going to take place with Bitcoin. And that is a breakout from a symmetrical triangle is about to happen. And we're going to have a look at that and see which way it could possibly go. But before all that good stuff, just a gentle, polite reminder, please remember everything in my videos is for educational purposes and nothing should be taken as financial advice. So please do your wider research before you make any important investment decisions. So with that out of the way, we haven't done affirmation for quite a while. So I'm going to start off with 10 absolutely amazing affirmations. So always remember with affirmations, when you do them early in the morning, what they do is they set the tone for the rest of the day. And if you say them with passion, with conviction and a depth of feeling, what they do is they plant seeds of subliminal messages for you throughout the day from which you can benefit all through that day. And that's why you should do them every morning. Okay, so let's start off with first one. If I persist, I win. I don't wait for big things to happen because I make them happen. I constantly exceed my self-imposed limits. My difficulties make me stronger. My success relies on not giving up. I don't fear making mistakes. I accept full responsibility for my life. I never make excuses and I never pity myself. I know what I want from life and I pursue it. My life doesn't get better by chance, it gets better by change. That's all the 10 I have. And I'm gonna finish the quotation by giving you a Wayne Dyer quotation. And that says that if you change the way you look at things, then the things you look at also change. I'm going to wrap up the personal development side by referring you to the tweet I tweeted this morning. It's a really funny way of saying these tweets. <laughs> so what it's really saying here is that bad things happen to everyone. As Jim Rohan said, that it rains on the rich as well as the poor. It's how you respond that differentiates those who will be successful or not so successful. So when bad things happen, you have really two choices. The first choice is that you can feel sorry for yourself get angry, frustrated, and complain about it, and moan and groan with everybody you come across, and give everybody a bad day. The second choice is that you can treat what has happened to you as a gift, as an opportunity to grow, something to learn from, to acquire more attributes and skills. And if you choose the first one, then each time bad things happen to you, then they become an obstacle for you to grow as a person. But if you choose number two, what you're doing is you're putting yourself on the fast lane for success. And the beauty about all this is that you get to choose which one you want to actually go for. Okay, I'm only going to do a small amount of analysis today because I've covered a lot of the main things in the last few videos. So if you haven't already watched my view on the bigger market, the bigger picture, then please go back to some of the previous videos. There's a lot of learning in there. You can always keep referring to the other videos and try and get more and more out of them. Today, I'm going to just focus on this bit here, this symmetrical triangle, which has been forming since we had this downward trend here. So let's have a look at this first. You can see quite clearly that we've been coiling into this apex of this triangle here. We're making lower highs, and higher lows here. And that's all leading to some incredible action that's going to take place in this apex of this triangle here. And of course, the $60 million question is, which way is it going to break? A few candlestick formations and patterns will clear the confusion here. Not that they will guarantee that they will break to the up or the downside, but what they do is they'll give you an edge, some information which other people don't look at, which give you a little bit of a head start to which way it will more than likely go. So in the middle of all this, this symmetrical triangle, we've got the 40,000 resistance support line here. And recently, it's basically been chopping up and down on this line which has made it very difficult to trade. So I've had to do no trades whatsoever because this is just dangerous territory to make any money here. Because in the process, you will more than likely lose money here. So in the next few days, 
basically we're going to have to break out either to the upside or to the downside and the end of the apex is about the 29th of March here but I reckon it's going to break much before that because most of these symmetrical triangles they do tend to break within 70 to 75 percent of the triangle so we're well within that now and so there is an imminent break about to happen and the question is which way will it go if we analyze this support level here then it's only broken by this candlestick pattern here and this tells us something this is giving us a little bit extra information that when the price came down this support line wasn't strong enough for it to hold that however at a certain point down here large numbers of buyers came in and that can be shown by this marabozu candle here this very strong solid green candle which basically broke back above this support line and that is usually very very bullish because whenever you have any support line which comes down and breaks it but very quickly recaptures it that is usually a very bullish sign that the market is about to take off and as you can see this marabozu candle led to this current price action that we've had here that strength was really more to do with the fact that we recaptured this support line here so from that point of view it looks like there's a lot of strength around these levels here which may push the price up rather than down however when we look closely within these candles themselves i.e. look at the shorter term time frame this is the daily time frame if we look at the shorter term time frame to look inside these candles we see a different picture emerging so in the last video i mentioned this particular candle here this is the gravestone doji candle this long long wick that came out yesterday after midnight and this is the range of that candle the red line here at the top of the wick and the red line here at the bottom of the wick. So the range of this candle is basically 41,717 at the top end and 38,850 at the bottom end. And as I've said many times before, whenever you see this kind of a candle, always put this range in because you'll find that the following candles dance to the tune of the top and the bottom of the wick of this candle. And this is exactly what's happening and it may well happen for a while until we get closer into this apex here of this orange line and the blue line as they're converging. This gravestone doji candle is basically a very bearish candle. And I always expect around about 70 to 80% for it to break to the downside rather than the upside. And the answer is within the candle here. Because what's happened is if you have a look at the logistics of it and the psychology that goes with it, is that so buyers came in at this price and pushed it all the way up to the 41,700 level here. However, the strength of the bears was that they took profits here. Enough to be able to push the price all the way back down to virtually where it started. And people all along the way down here were willing to sell their assets here. And the bulls couldn't do anything about it. So what happens here is normally... Whenever we get this kind of candle, just like we got one here, afterwards, there seems to always be a rally here to come and retest this level. And this is what's happening right now. We're testing the top end of it. And I wouldn't be surprised. We get a very quick march all the way down to retest this level here. So there's a huge battle going on between the bulls and the bears. And my own view is, is that this gravestone doji candle is leaving a sign that we're going to get one more big fall to the downside before it makes up its mind which way to break over here. So this candle is going to have an effect on the price action over here. And because this is a bearish candle with a high degree of probability to break to the downside, and we haven't seen one yet here, but this is what I'm expecting. Obviously, anything can happen this is Bitcoin but when I look at the bigger picture we've had a very strong downturn over the last four months and we've had a certain amount of rallies in between and I think we're due one big relief rally at this point here so what I'm expecting is in the next few days maybe even today or tomorrow anything can happen in the next few days that we're going to find ourselves testing the bottom of this 
range there at 38,800. And I think we're going to break below it to test this level here at 36,000, around this, these levels here, before we move back up. So I'm expecting a fake out here. Whether that materializes, obviously, it's just my view of this, the way I'm looking at it, that before a big move, a counter move tends to take place. And I'm expecting the counter move to be the one to the downside because of that four hour doji candle. And that takes out any longs with their stop losses down here. And then it moves the market back up to test this level here again at 46. At which point I would expect a strong rejection back down. So please be ready for a move. It may well work out in a completely different way. It may, it may go up first and then come back down and have that move to the downside. But the way these candlestick patterns are forming, I get the impression that we've got one leg up and we're coming down quite a lot in this channel. And sooner or later, we tend to break these diagonal lines, but it's these horizontal support and resistance key levels that we really need to be keeping our eye on here. So that's it. That's all I want to turn for today because I want people to just focus on this particular triangle here and what's about to happen in the next few days. So be ready for a big move. It can be to the upside or downside. Of course, that's not rocket science, but I'm just giving you my perspective of why I think what's going to happen. Okay, so we'll leave it there for today. So if you found some value in the affirmations and the positive thoughts and the microanalysis, then please do remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.